Jumping Jack Flash is a hugely popular Rolling Stones tune and out of all their hits this is the one that they've played the most live. It was released as a single in 1968 and this was at the height of the British blues explosion. Like a lot of the Rolling Stones tunes from this era, it's actually quite hard to pick out the bass line in places. Now this was just because of the way it was recorded and the way it was mixed. Um, but I've carefully listened to the original song and I've also isolated the bass and I've transcribed the whole bass line note for note. Um, so it's really interesting to actually hear what's going on in this song. Now Bill Wyman was the bass player at the time of this release but interestingly enough, the story goes that he didn't play the bass line that Keith Richards did and Bill Wyman actually played the organ part. Now this kind of seems to be true, but you can't be sure. Um, this happened quite a lot um, in the kind of British blues scene at the time. Um, different people being credited for the bass lines. But whoever played the bass line, it's a fantastic bass line to play. You can really rock out. Um, so in this lesson, I'm going to talk you through the bass line and teach you how to play it. You can get the full transcription for free in standard notation and tab by clicking the link below this video in the description. So that's really useful if you want to play it with a band or you just want to have the PDF to accompany this lesson. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. The chord sequence for Jumping Jack Flash is pretty straightforward. So in the verse and the pre-verse sections, we just have the bass line over a B flat chord. And the chorus is D flat, A flat, E flat, B flat. And then the same thing repeated again, D flat, A flat, E flat, B flat. So that's the chorus. Um, we have little sections that are over the B flat chord after that as well. And then the intro and the bridge section is just B flat for a bar and then half a bar of E flat, half a bar of A flat. And that's repeated a few times for the intro and a few times for the bridge. First of all, we're going to look at the verse and the pre-verse sections. Okay, The bass in these sections just jams around the B flat root note. Now this changes throughout the song, but what the bass is doing, it's kind of um, working with the guitar riff, okay, locking in with that riff. I've played that guitar line just with a simple clav effect, and what I want you to do is listen to me playing the first and the second pre-verse to that clav, um, and that's the kind of guitar part, and listen to how the bass line locks in really nicely. It changes with both pre-verses, um, but they still both lock in really nicely. I'll now play pre-verse 1 and verse 1, okay? So verse 1 is 8 bars long and just still is on that B flat. So I use the B flat on the um, sixth fret of the E string um, because we're kind of it just we can access the rest of the bass line that way. Okay, um, you have to kind of swap. Sometimes I've got my first finger because um, in that first pre-verse we've got a high B flat. Okay, um, but then we play a few A flat, so I kind of shift a few times. Um, so um, this verse, verse one. So it's got a kind of pattern that changes quite a bit, but it's um, a kind of the same type of rhythm. So So what I suggest you do is clap it all first. Make sure you can clap it. Um, or just um, when you get the PDF, just write above it, write the beats. So we've got four beats in a bar, and write, sometimes it falls on the ands, okay? So if we look at that first bar of verse one, we play on one, two, three and, and four and, okay? So one, two, three and, 
two, three, and four, and. Okay, so we don't actually play on four. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so I'm just going to play um, the first line slowly, counting, okay? So three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so if you're struggling to play that rhythm, um, then I definitely suggest that you write the counts above. Okay, and any any rests, any eighth note rests, then you just use um, ands there. Okay, so you can write it out like this. Okay, and the second line, I'll play that for you. Three, four. Um, down to A flat at the end. Now what I suggest you do, because this bass line changes a lot, um, and like I said, it's actually quite hard to hear what the bass is doing sometimes. If you're gonna play this with a band, then just kind of make sure that you're locking in with the guitar part, um, and you don't have to play exactly the same rhythms, but you've got this B flat here. Um, just kind of make your own rhythms up, but keep it kind of locked in with the guitar. Now I'm just gonna play through pre-verse and verse one, the same way that I played with that clav patch. Um, and play it with me if you want to, I'll do it slowly. I'll count three, four in. Three, four. Okay, um, you probably noticed I shifted there earlier just to kind of preempt that A flat there. Okay, if you're struggling with this, if you really want to kind of read rhythms, have a look at my website, gbshed.com. There's a link below. Um, I've got some reading courses and I've got some reading boot camps. It's really handy to be able to kind of um, look at this. It's just written on the B flat, so you're not reading pictures, but you're just reading rhythms here. And it's really kind of eighth note rhythms here. We're not even um, kind of going into 16th notes, but have a look there um, if you really kind of want to work on your rhythm playing. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can do that by pressing the red subscribe button. And if you click the bell, then you'll hear about all my new lessons as soon as they come out. So now we're going to look at the chorus. So again, the chord progression for the chorus is a bar of D flat, a bar of A flat, a bar of E flat, and a bar of B flat. And that's just repeated twice. Now again, these choruses change slightly. Um, but if you just learn the first chorus, you can use that for the rest of the tune and it will still sound great. There's only kind of little rhythmic changes um, between the different choruses. So I'll just play it for you first, okay? Okay, so we've got these really nice grace notes here. Um, I'll show you to play those in a minute, but a grace note is a really fast note. If you look, you can see um, they're written on the notation as a, a tiny little note. So, okay, so you can normally hammer them on, play the first note and just hammer the second note really quickly, or slide like that. It doesn't really matter. They kind of just sound slightly different, um, but I kind of, I think Bill Wyman's probably doing the hammer on, okay? Um, not the slide, okay? So we start on D flat. Okay, D flat down to A flat via C. Okay. And it's got that rhythm, bat, 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 bat. Okay, so we're playing the A flat before the beat on forehand. Da, 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 da. Okay. Play it with me. Bit slower, three, four. Again, three, four. Okay, and once we get to the A flat, lean to the E flat, I'll do that slowly. Okay, so it's that rhythm here. Bom, bom, bo, 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 bo. Okay, so actually in that um, A flat bar, the first three notes are all off the beat. 
So we've got the A flat tied from the beat before, so you play on one and, and then you play on two and, okay? Um, and then this bit at the end is uh, they're on the on the beat, on the um, eighth notes. Okay, that's A flat, C, D flat, D, E flat, okay? I'll play that, um, the D flat and the A flat bar a few times, so join in with me if you can play it. Three, four. Again, three, four. Okay, then the E flat bar. So that's just E, D flat, B flat. Okay. B flat, C, D flat. Okay, the E flat bar, three, four. Play with me, three, four. Okay, we'll put that whole line together. I'll do it slowly and play it for me if you can. Three, four. Back up to D flat. And again, three, four. Okay, and then we go to D flat again. Um, so that's pretty similar, but we don't play the A flat as a push. So the second time round, and we've got that rhythm there. Okay, so this rhythm. Okay, play it again. Three, four. And then that B flat there, okay? So there's lots of those grace notes up to the high B flat. So try that line with me and we'll just stop on the first B flat. So on D flat, three, four. Okay. Now, when we play those B flats, um, it kind of you can hear it works with the rest of the track. You kind of play that first B flat. One, two. Three. Okay, so one, two, three. Quite fast. So you can miss out the grace note if you want for any of those kind of the second or the third note. Uh, so one, two, three, three, four. Okay, so again, it's quite a funny rhythm here. We're kind of playing on uh, beat one for the B flat, and then three and, um, and then we're playing on four and, and then the next bar we're playing on um, three and again, and then we're playing on the beat, and three and, okay? So one, two, three, two, three, three, okay? Um, so again, just, if you're struggling with that, then write the notes above that. Okay, I'm going to play the whole chorus. Just join in with me. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong. Um, um, or just have a listen to me do it. We'll do it a bit slower. So get ready on a D flat. Three, four. And that's the end of the chorus. Um, so once you've kind of mastered that chorus, then have a look at the other ones. But like I said, you can use this chorus for the um, other choruses and it will sound great. I'm now going to show you the intro, which comes back later on in the song, and I've called it the bridge there. So again, this is just a bar of B flat um, and then half a bar of E flat, half a bar of A flat. Okay, so for the intro, um, it starts on the B flat, then E flat, A flat, B flat, and then we come in on the fourth bar. Okay, so do 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 and then do 
Okay, so um, I play it on the E flat here. Okay, because you can kind of slide up to it nicely. You can use your little finger actually, probably easier. I sometimes use my second finger because I can kind of get a better slide. But you can still do it with your little finger, then you're in position for the E flat, D flat, C. Okay, so you're sliding to the 13th fret of the D string. Okay, just try this first of all. Okay, three, four. Three, four. And then just put slide in, three, four. Again, three, four. Okay, and then we're on to those kind of B flats, okay. Um, okay. Okay, so that's the one on the intro. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay. And the first time um, after the E flat, A flat, we just got these B flats here. Just a bar. That comes on two and. One, two, four. And then we're on to those longer B flats. Okay, so I'm going to play the intro for you. Three, four. Okay, we've got this kind of slider. You can use the F here. One, so one, two, three. Okay, so you can slide down nicely from that F, 13th fret of the um, E string down to the B flat for the pre-verse. Then when we use the same thing for the bridge, um, we just go around a bit longer. Um, so we've got single bars of B flat until the end, okay? So three, four. got four bars of B flat there and these and um, like again the rhythm changes slightly from the different sections of these high B flats with a grace note here you've, you're playing on um, two and one two one two one two okay um, so just try that bridge slowly with me, okay? So you're gonna get ready to slide up to the E flat there, 13th fret of the D string. Three, four. and we're back then into a pre-verse. Okay, that's probably the most tricky part actually, this um, kind of intro and bridge, getting that slide in. I don't suggest that you do it on the G-string, but if you're finding it easier and you, you don't want to slide as much just to kind of play the bass line, that's fine, okay? But I, I think it's probably the best place on the D-string. Okay, you've now got all the sections, so it's a matter of putting the whole thing together, okay? Um, I hope you've kind of enjoyed looking at the original bass line. It's quite tricky playing these high bits actually. The rest of the bass line is kind of okay and playing those grace notes, but they're a really nice effect when you hear those on the original bass line. Um, and for the ending, it just kind of jams round and round and round that B flat section. Um, so on the PDF, I've written out kind of about eight bars or so, and then I've just put um, carry on. Um, so it's just kind of the different rhythmic patterns on the B flat. Um, so you can kind of experiment with those same sorts of rhythms and just make sure you lock in again with the drums and with the guitar. You've got the whole bass line on the PDF, remember? You can get that below by clicking the link in the description. So if you are playing this with a band, remember you don't have to stick to this part faithfully. Um, it's good to see kind of what the original bass line is, but you're gonna have to jam this bass line. Um, but at least you know kind of what registers are good to play in, what sounds good, and you can get some of the main sections in. Um, but then kind of, you need to make this bass line your own really. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and found it useful. Um, it's another um, really great British blues tune from the British Blues Explosion uh, of the 60s. This was kind of the height of the explosion, uh, 1968. There was a lot of great blues going on in Britain at the time. So let me know in the comments how you got on. Um, do you play this bass line already? Um, how did you um, how did you kind of find the original bass line if you hadn't played that before? And also, if you, any other Stones songs that have great bass lines, a lot of them do. I love the Rolling Stones. Um, let me know your favourites in the, in the um, comments below. Um, and you never know, I might make a video lesson of it in the future. Make sure that you help me out by liking and sharing this video. You can share it on socials. Just click the link, share video, share it on Facebook. Feel free to kind of share it anywhere. Anyone you think might want to learn the baseline, that kind of really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. And if you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. They're $5. The details are at the bottom of the screen here. Or if you go in the description, um, you can click the link there and pay by card or by PayPal. So it's really simple. And that kind of helps support keep these YouTube videos and the PDFs free for everyone. And while you're in the description, check out all the links to my website. So gbshed.com, I've got base courses, books, loads of free base resources over there. Um, you can buy these t-shirts here, um, loads of other t-shirts, loads of other merch. So take a look at gbshed.com. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.